Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy who makes videos about web development and productivity. Last week, I made this Reddit clone using Tailwind CSS. Today, I wanna to go over something specific, this resizing navbar. I wanna walk you guys through how Reddit resizes its navbar and how I was able to accomplish a very similar format of resizing inside of my own Reddit clone using Tailwind. I'm making this video because I want to show you guys that it's easy to recreate responsive UIs. So let's jump right in. For the purpose of this video, I cropped out the rest of the app and I'm just going to be looking at the navbar. And I also centered it so it's a little bit easier to see and I highlighted some specific aspects of it that are you know, going to change as you resize the navbar. But first, let's understand how Reddit is doing it so you can see how I came up with this idea. When you have a full nav bar in Reddit, you can see that everything is displayed. You got the Reddit icon with the Reddit text, this popular thing that you can filter with, the search bar, six separate icons, and then you got your user profile. The first thing that goes away when you start resizing your browser is this top thing over here, which is your user profile. So as you can see, when you resize it, your user profile thing goes away. And as you start resizing more and more, the other features of Reddit also start getting hidden inside of the UI. The next thing that goes away is this Reddit text and the popular text. So let me show you guys as I start resizing, you'll see that the Reddit text is gone. Now the popular text is gone. And the thing that goes away after that are, are these icons. So you'll see here. Cool, so the icons go away. That's basically what I got going in my main app. So the first thing that goes away is this thing. And well, it looks like I also hide these at the same point, but I think it's pretty clear. It sort of, it sort of makes sense how this is going, gonna go. So I hide this and I hide these three separate icons. And then after that, I hide popular and I hide the Reddit uh, logo. As you can see, the Reddit logo goes away, and then the popular text goes away. And an interesting thing to note is that if you go all the way like this, my navbar starts to look kinda bad, but that's okay because Reddit's navbar also looks kinda bad. So you'll notice here that as the screen gets smaller and smaller, the Reddit navbar just kinda gets really clunky. In any case, let's just get back to the navbar and see how the code for this works. How does Tailwind allow us to easily do this? Let's dive right in. So the first two things that I removed from my app are the user profile as well as these three icons. So let's see how we accomplish that inside of Tailwind CSS. Right here, I display a flex thing and then I display the image. And this is where the real code is at, right? Uh, we've got the profile picture here. Right next to that, we've got the username, the amount of karma, and, and just this other icon. So let's take a look at how Tailwind actually hides this information and how I'm accomplishing that. And as you can see, it's literally only these two things that you need to put into your code if you want to hide specific UI based on different breakpoints. So what is this doing? So by default, by default, this entire section is gonna be hidden. If the size of the screen is larger than XL, then we're gonna display it. And that's what we're saying here by specifying block. So by default, it's hidden. Otherwise, we just display it. And that's all you need. That's all you need in Tailwind to get a semi-responsive thing going. So you'll notice here that as I resize it, wait for the breakpoint, the XL breakpoint, right over there. So it looks like the XL breakpoint is about 1600, uh, 1600 pixels. So anything more than that, we display it. Anything less than that, we hide it. And so I'm doing the same thing here. So these are the common actions. And these, I separated them into two sections. First are uh, just common options, and then the other are generic actions that we don't wanna hide. All we're saying is by default, it's hidden. and if the screen size is more than 1600 pixels, then we display it. It's all we're doing, guys. It's just these two things help you resize pretty much the same way Reddit does, which is pretty crazy if you think about it, right? 
I do the same thing for, for this and for the popular tag. So let's just find Reddit. So this is the Reddit icon and this is the Reddit text. And all I'm doing is by default it's hidden and if the screen is larger than an LG, then I'm going to display it. So LG has a different breakpoint, right? LG has a different breakpoint. Uh, it's a lot less than XL. So uh, XL is about, I think, 1600 pixels. So LG is, I think it's 1280 or something like that. Right. So we got right around 1280. You'll notice here, just uh, right over here. You see the 1283, as soon as it goes below 1280, we hide the Reddit icon. And I do the same thing for popular. So you'll notice here that popular has a breakpoint of around, um, looks like it's around 960 pixels. And I'm assuming that that breakpoint is like an MD, right? So we do the same thing here. We hide the popular text by default. And if we want to display it, or if it's if the screen is larger than MD, then we just you know display it, and that's just it, and it's just just as simple as that, right? So you can get the same, basically the same. Obviously, I didn't do it the exact right way. I probably should have resized the Reddit icon and the popular icon before removing these icons, right? Because that's what Reddit's doing, and, but that's not too hard, right? That's not too hard. But the whole point here that I want you guys to get is just that it's super easy to have a responsive navbar. You would think that it would be a lot harder to make something look as good as reddit.com, but with Tailwind, it's super easy. So yeah, I mean, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys saw how easy it is to work with Tailwind, how easy it is to resize a navbar. Uh, just let me know if you guys enjoyed this sort of short form video and uh, as always like and subscribe that's the best way to support me and this everlasting effort to not work for a fang company thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time